Given that the canon reference book, the TIE Fighter Owner's Workshop Manual, reveals that energy shields weren't a luxury but a standard feature on almost every military, commercial, and civilian starship, the fact that the Empire's TIE Fighters didn't have them is a remarkable circumstance within the lore, based upon the role the Empire expected them to perform. However, the reason why TIE Fighters don't have deflector shields has been explained and outlined within the current canon, a feature that resulted from the requirements demanded by the Empire and based on examples from the Clone War. One of the leading individuals who supported an Imperial Starfighter that didn't have energy shields was Grand Moff Tarkin himself. For Tarkin, he envisioned the Empire Starfighters performing a role that was secondary to its capital ships. When confronting those who opposed the Empire, it was first thought that Imperial Star Destroyers would be able to intimidate such opposition to end their efforts against the Empire, followed by a barrage from their cannons if needed. Only when these actions failed would there be a need for Starfighters, which would at that point be unleashed upon their targets. With this understanding, among other performance requirements, in the earliest months of the Empire, Tarkin wanted to reduce expenses associated with the Starfighters that would be created for the Empire, wanting something that was economical so they could be mass-produced. This led Tarkin to advocate for a Starfighter without energy shield systems, something he initially believed would be rejected by other officers within the Empire. But Tarkin was confident in such a drastic decision through his own experience as a pilot and from what he recognized during the Clone War. For Tarkin, he knew the Jedi had successfully utilized starfighters that didn't have shields against the droid army of the Separatists. Of course, the Jedi were able to use their abilities with the Force to assist them in battle. However, Tarkin was confident that Imperial pilots who were meticulously trained should be able to approximate the success experienced by the Jedi. Tarkin's idea would ultimately receive the endorsement of Emperor Palpatine. And while the economic and considerations about the expense of the Starfighters was important, they both agreed on another important consequence of building an Imperial Starfighter without shields. They believed that Imperial pilots would be far more committed to successfully accomplishing their missions if they weren't protected by shields, instead motivated to quickly engage their targets, utilize tremendous skill during the attack, and attack in large numbers. Palpatine emphasized Imperial pilot dedication and a commitment to carrying out their missions without wasted energy or time. Therefore, both Tarkin and Palpatine were committed to a starfighter that didn't implement shield systems. To bring about their vision, Tarkin would turn to engineer and starship designer Wraith Sinar and Sinar Fleet Systems, a leading manufacturer of military starfighters and shuttles. In wanting Wraith Sinar to develop a starfighter for the Imperial Navy, Tarkin emphasized the importance of the starfighter being inexpensive to manufacture and energy efficient as previously noted, but also immensely fast and maneuverable. Fortunately for Tarkin and the Emperor, Sinar's design, which would become the TIE Fighter, did not include deflector shield systems or hyperdrive system. This would help to reduce power drain and significantly assist with maneuverability. Although it wasn't common for a starfighter to be created without shield systems, just as Tarkin had done in developing the TIE, Sinar was inspired by the Star Courier that he designed himself, but also turned to the starfighters of his primary competitor, Kuat Systems Engineering, specifically the Jedi Interceptors used during the Clone War. In these Jedi Interceptors, Sinar found a previous example where features such as energy shields weren't implemented. Therefore, by not including shield systems or features like a hyperdrive, Sinar perfectly met the Empire's requirements for an inexpensive starfighter that could be mass-produced and was energy efficient, tremendously fast, and exceptionally maneuverable. In this way, with Tarkin and Palpatine wanting a starfighter without deflector shields, the fact that Sinar's design didn't have them wasn't a concern. In the end, Sinar Fleet System's TIE Fighter met the requirements of the Empire. So there we have it, why TIE Fighters don't have shields as explained within the current canon. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below, for updates and even more Star Wars content. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For Jedi Interceptors.